Okay, so I'm just going to continue on with the videos that I'm making about porting and polishing the Ford 2.3 liter Turbo Lima cast iron head. Uh, today I just want to talk a little bit about uh, combustion chamber polishing and valve shrouding. So you can see here, this is a combustion chamber on my, my junk head, my, my practice head. Uh, you can see the rough casting, there's a bit of a, a bump right here as well that you want to get rid of. And you can see how much the valves are shrouded. And in the case of the exhaust valve, the shrouding probably starts back here and probably continues to around here. And on the intake side, it's not quite as bad. It probably starts here and ends at about here, maybe a little less than a quarter of the surface area. So over here, uh, uh, what I've done is I've uh, started to polish this combustion chamber. I've really just done mostly stonework here to get rid of all of the, the uh, roughness of the casting, get rid of that bump that's in there. Uh, but then I also want to show you the valve shrouding work that's been done. So over here, started on this side of the exhaust and just opened it up a little, started right about here and just went to about there. It's maybe a sixteenth of the, the valve surface area, just opened up just a little bit along the surface. But then you can see along the back here, you know, the valves, the combustion chamber's really been opened up. If you have a look over here, you, know, you can see how close, basically this wall here is completely vertical right around to here. And now in this combustion chamber, you can see how much it's been pushed back. It's probably been pushed back by, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch at the, at the very top here. And it starts right about here on the intake side. Uh, sorry for the blurriness. I'm trying to get that, see if I can get the phone to focus. Uh, and then it opens up around. So now instead of having about a quarter of the intake valve shrouded, it's pr probably, you know, really, really only from here to about here, maybe an eighth of the valve surface area is shrouded. And in case of the exhaust valve, we're talking about maybe from here to here, maybe about a quarter of the exhaust valve, whereas before the exhaust valve has about a third, maybe more than a third, almost half of its surface area is shrouded. And then this area is just pushed back just to keep this wall consistent. So much larger combustion chamber. Yeah, you're probably losing a little. I'll re-CC these heads and uh, see how much the volume has changed. Prior to all this work, um, this was 60.5 cc's or 60.5 60 milliliters, it's the same unit. Uh, and I'll re-CC this head and see what it's like after all this work. And I just want to show you um, the real head that I'm going to be running. This came off of a naturally aspirated engine. And so you can see there's a bit of a widow's peak here. Um, I'll probably take all of this off. I haven't done the valve shrouding yet in this particular example. I'm really just practicing on the other head, which is my garbage head. But you can see here what it looks like after all of the polishing is done. It's just mirror, mirror smooth. I'll bring the light over so you can have a better look at what this looks like. Um, see if I can get the light in camera. see better what this looks like. Um, it's not quite cooperating, is it? But basically, all these cylinders are just polished, mirror, mirror smooth. Um, all the, the stonework sanding scratches are gone. Very, very smooth. Um, I make sure that I've got a valve in place so I don't damage the valve seat. Uh, but in this case, you can also see that this is a fully ported and polished heads head. I've opened up the bowl. The uh, valve guy boss has been reduced on all of these cylinders. And I've opened up on the exhaust side too. I've used an exhaust gasket to make this essentially a D-shaped port. So it's flat on the bottom and rounded around here. I have another video where I've described that in more detail. Okay, so that's it. That's combustion chamber polishing, what it should look like, baby smooth. And that's accomplished with just a stone, followed by coarse and then fine sanding rolls and just patience. And then over here, we've sort of got a first round of experiments as to what will happen if I try to unshroud. I strongly recommend that if you're going to do any of this work, you get a junk head that's cracked. It's cracked. This one here has been identified by the machine shops. So this is garbage. So I don't really care what happens here. Okay, I'm going to pause this and then there's something else that I want to show you about this.